e to the negative 3x equals 12. So how do we cancel out an e? Well, we use an ln. So ln of e to the negative 3x is going to be equal to the ln of 12. And ln and e cancel out, so we're left with negative 3x equals ln 12. One last step towards solving for x. Got to divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3. So x equals ln of 12 divided by negative 3. And let's grab a calculator and see what the decimal of this looks like, even though we have an exact answer here already. ln of 12 divided by the number negative 3 is negative 0 0.8283 to four decimal places. Okay, how about this problem on the right then? Here we could take a log base 5, but here I'm just going to actually pull out the ln again. Love the ln. ln of 5 to the 1.2x equals ln of 10. Pull out the exponent, 1.2x ln 5 equals ln 10. And that simply means that x is going to be ln of 10 divided by 1.2 ln of 5. Yay, we're already done. But if you want a decimal answer for that one, ln of 10 divided by 1.2 ln of 5, if you put this in your calculator correctly, should come out to be 1.1922. Why don't you try a couple on your own here? Try these two here. Assuming you paused the video and tried it out on your own, first one was an e as the base, so this one should be an obvious call to ln. ln e to the 7x equals ln of 8, so that means that 7x is equal to ln of 8, and that means that x would be equal to ln of 8 over 7. Again, as a calculator answer, if you desire or you want to play along and see if you're doing your calculator correctly, this would be 0 0.2971 to four decimal places. And on the other hand, 3 to the 0.59x equals 7. 3 to the 0.59x equals 7. Let's log it again. So ln 3 to the 0 0.59x equals ln of 7. 0.59x ln of 3 equals ln of 7. So after dividing, we'll get an ln of 7 over a 0.59 with an ln of 3. So last time, back to the trusty calculator here, ln of 7 divided by 0.59 times the ln of 3 gives us 3.0021. Again, that's approximate, that's, uh, that's uh, rounded to the fourth decimal place of accuracy.